What happens when a world-renowned herpetologist meets one of the most venomous snakes on Earth in the remote jungles of Myanmar? This is the chilling story of Joseph Bruno Slowinski, a man whose passion for venomous snakes led him to a fateful encounter. On September 11, 2001, amidst the chaos of the 9-11 attacks, Slowinski's team faced a desperate battle against time, nature and communication barriers. Stay tuned as we unravel the gripping tale of a scientist's final expedition and the legacy he left behind. Hey, wild ones! Welcome to Savage World's Animal Encounters, where we dive into the wild and bring you the most thrilling and heart-pounding animal stories from around the globe. On this channel, we bring you unbelievable animal encounters, from close calls with apex predators to heartwarming animal rescues, survival stories, real-life tales of people who have survived against all odds in the animal kingdom, and educational insights fascinating facts about the amazing creatures we share our planet with. If you love wildlife and crave adventure, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss an episode. And if you enjoy the video, give us a thumbs up and share it with your fellow wildlife enthusiasts. Your support helps us bring you more wild content. All right. Let's get into today's savage tale. Joseph Bruno Slowinski, born in 1962, was a renowned American herpetologist. He dedicated his life to the study of reptiles, particularly venomous snakes. His passion for these creatures took him to remote corners of the world. Slowinski's work significantly advanced our understanding of snake venom and its potential medical applications. His untimely death in 2001, while on an expedition in Myanmar, sent shockwaves through the scientific community. Slowinski's legacy, however, continues to inspire new generations of herpetologists. His contributions to the field are immeasurable. From a young age, Slowinski displayed a profound fascination with reptiles. He pursued this passion academically, obtaining his Bachelor of Science degree from the University of Kansas. He furthered his studies at the University of Miami, where he earned both his master's and doctoral degrees in biology. After completing his postdoctoral work, he joined the faculty of Southeastern Louisiana University. His research focused on the evolution and ecology of venomous snakes. Later, Slowinski became the curator of herpetology at the California Academy of Sciences. Slowinski's research primarily centered around venomous snakes. He was particularly interested in the evolution of venom and its potential for developing new medicines. His work took him to various parts of the world, including the United States, Mexico, Peru, and Myanmar. He was a prolific author, publishing over 40 scientific articles and books. One of his most notable achievements was founding the scientific journal Contemporary Herpetology. This journal quickly became a respected platform for researchers in the field. In the dense, humid jungles of Myanmar, Joseph Bruno Slowinski and his research team were on a mission. It was September 11, 2001, and they were deep in an isolated region, far from civilization, driven by Slowinski's insatiable curiosity for venomous snakes. Among them was the elusive Sujan's crate, a snake known for its potent venom and secretive nature. The day began like any other. Slowinski, with his keen eye and extensive experience, moved carefully through the undergrowth, scanning for signs of their quarry. The team had been in the field for days, collecting data, capturing specimens, and pushing the boundaries of herpetological knowledge. Spirits were high despite the challenging conditions. 
But as the sun began to dip below the horizon, casting long shadows through the dense canopy, the atmosphere grew tense. It was during these dim twilight hours that the crate was most active. Slowinski knew this and was prepared, but even the most seasoned expert can be caught off guard. Suddenly, amidst the thick foliage, Slowinski spotted it. A Susan's crate, its black and white bands almost shimmering in the fading light. He approached cautiously, knowing the risks all too well. The crate, true to its nature, remained motionless, blending seamlessly with its surroundings. As Slowinski moved in to capture the snake, disaster struck. The crate, feeling threatened, struck with lightning speed. Its fangs pierced Slowinski's hand, delivering a dose of neurotoxic venom that began to work its way through his system almost immediately. The team, trained for such emergencies, sprang into action. They administered first aid, trying to keep him calm and still to slow the spread of the venom. Communication with the outside world was their lifeline. But as they desperately attempted to reach the embassy and arrange for a medical evacuation, news broke of the September 11th terrorist attacks. The world was in chaos and their cries for help were lost amidst the turmoil. The embassy, grappling with the unfolding events, faced overwhelming challenges in coordinating a rescue. Hours ticked by, each one an agonizing eternity. Slowinski's condition worsened, the venom wreaking havoc on his nervous system. His team watched helplessly as their leader, their friend, slipped further away. They made several attempts to find alternative routes to medical assistance, but the remote location combined with worsening weather made it impossible. The team kept him as comfortable as they could, providing what little medical support they had. But Slowinski, aware of his fate, remained remarkably composed. His mind still focused on the work he loved. After 29 excruciating hours, Joseph Bruno Slowinski succumbed to the venom. His death was not just a loss to his team, but a monumental blow to the field of herpetology. Slowinski's passing on that day in such tragic and preventable circumstances highlighted the perils faced by those who venture into the unknown in the name of science. But Slowinski's story doesn't end there. His contributions to the study of venomous snakes and his pioneering spirit continue to inspire. His legacy lives on through the numerous species named in his honour and the countless lives he touched through his work. Joseph Slowinski's untimely death was a significant loss to the scientific community. His passion for reptiles, particularly venomous snakes, was infectious. In 2008, author Jamie James published a biography titled The Snake Charmer, A Life and Death in Pursuit of Knowledge. The book details Slowinski's life, work and the circumstances surrounding his death. Several species of snakes, including the crate that bit him, have been named in his honor. His legacy continues to inspire new generations of herpetologists. And that brings us to the end of this incredible and heartbreaking tale of Joseph Bruno Slowinski, a true pioneer in the world of herpetology. His dedication and passion for studying venomous snakes ultimately led him to a fateful encounter, but his legacy continues to inspire and educate us all. If you found this story as fascinating and moving as we did, please give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss another wild adventure from Savage Tales. Animal Encounters. What did you think about Joseph Slowinski's story? Let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear your thoughts and any other amazing animal encounter stories you might want us to cover. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the wild. Remember, the world is full of incredible stories waiting to be told. 
and we can't wait to share them with you. Stay wild and stay curious. This is Savage Tales, Animal Encounters signing off. <laughs>